Hi everyone, so we're here at Orlando Towers and we're gonna go paintballing soon and then we're gonna eat at Chef Posey. I've never been here. I've been driving the EcoSport for a little while now. Uh, I've been driving it for about two days now. So they gave it to me for over the weekend and So here is the exterior of the car. I had to voice over because as I was filming, the wind was making so much noise, so it wasn't sounding nice. So it has LED lights and there's daytime running lights and fog lights as you can see. There's also a very very nice black thing rim going on. The side mirrors do have indicator lights and we move on to the back of the car. But on top there's roof rails. I don't know if those roof rails are meant to carry anything but I don't think so. So here is the back of the car. It's very nice, it's very compact, it's, it's agile and the shape, I think the styling is, is very nice. And yeah. So I'm unlocking the car now. I'm going to show you guys how to open the boot. It's a bit tricky and it's a bit concealed. So pay attention. When you're looking at it like this, you wouldn't know where to open the boot, right? But Ford decided that to open the boot, you need to press right there. Yep. And it's concealed. So I unlocked the car. There's a soft touch button, you press it, and the boot is open. Hi, le hore o tlhoka boot space engwe like if ba tla space sa o feta mona. Le city tsa ka mohare tsa go morao, di a fold e ha go tla sedia go tla and they go all the way down so e sharp o same boot wise. And ho ba tlo kentsa maybe something like a TV. I get if mo tshino tla tsodi a paro ka tsena but I think ho ka isa di city go tla se wa ro kentsa TV e tlolekana. So we are now on the interior, guys. If you guys know me, I have the functionality buttons, and functionality buttons are those buttons on the steering wheel. So those are absolutely necessary. Uh, that's the infotainment screen. It's touchscreen. I like the graphics, Dinai system, and it's very responsive in terms of hold, coma, and everything. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto equipped, so it's very nice. And the seats get all the and yeah. No, oh, I keep talking so so what the hell's that? <laughs> anyway, um the door bins are also nice because there's a water bottle there. And yeah, I think this car is very, very spacious. There's another water bottle there, so mm, and there's like many cup holders, which is great, especially if you're traveling with friends. Ford EcoSport one liter trend. And I've driven this car before and I absolutely enjoy it. It's, it's aiding to my rich housewife aesthetic because but when you have the shiki shades, braids, big nyana SUV. So this is a rich housewife aesthetic, right? Can't tell me. Anyway, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of the car. I've been driving it for a few days. Um, in terms of the drive, the drive is very nice. It's very comfortable. It's very smooth. Um, very quick off the line. Noise control. Noise, yeah, noise insulation. I almost said noise reduction. Noise insulation is sharp. Boot space is not because the corner is not There was quite a few things. My friends were with me. So there were quite a number of things in the car. And steering proper. Like turbo lag is there. Mara hasn't it. Like I understand it's a small engine and it's trying it's trying very hard to push through but it's not an engine where i'm where an automatic transmission where i'm like this is not great it's it's fairly decent and i think it also aids in um saving petrol because 
uh, I, 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 I got to get some petrol in after this whole, whole weekend. But yeah, so the car, I really like it. Who would I recommend it to? I'd recommend it to people who are working and people with small families. So if you have maybe two kids, yeah, it's a, it's a family car. I think we've all noticed that in the country when we see EcoSports, the demographic is usually small families, you know. Um, two kids, nyana, those kind of vibes, you know. So small SUVs are the ones that are kind of taking over, you know. Things like the Renault Capture, uh, it also competes with this. So it's Renault Capture, Hyundai Creta, Mazda CX-3. Those are amazing, amazing small SUVs, guys. I kid you not, any one of those, I think you would, and I think that what would be very good compared to this one, like a good, a good alternative, would be the Mazda CX-3. And also Renault Capture, if you guys like that, I think you should go for it because the Renault Capture, I've been reading amazing reviews about. So it. thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you. Want.